What's up guys, Quarter Hoarder here, and I'm not known for how-to videos, but I get a lot of questions on how I clean my finds. And I gotta admit, electrolysis is the way I've been doing it for years. But a lot of people are a little nervous, electricity and water, oh, and they freak out, and I get it. So I'm gonna show you a new product today that I started using. It's called Metal Rescue, and it lives up to its name. This is as easy to use as it can possibly be. You mix it with water, you put your relic in, and just wait it out, and it's done. So uh, I'm gonna show you how it works. I'll show you some before and after in a second. You can judge for yourself. So I'll be back, guys. All right, so getting the metal rescue together is as easy as it comes. You need an empty milk jug, a gallon milk jug, and you need the metal rescue concentrate. You don't get much easier than that. You pop the little lid, and you dump the whole thing into this empty milk jug. All right, the whole container's in. Now it's called Metal Rescue Concentrate because it's concentrated. So you fill the rest of your gallon of water up, I mean, the rest of your gallon of milk up with water, just plain old water. You can use distilled water if you want. I'm gonna use hose water because um, you know, that's how I roll. So let's fill this up. All right, it's mixed. I got this gallon here, which is now no longer concentrated, but regular strength or whatever you wanna call it. Make sure if you put it in a milk jug, as soon as you're done, I'm gonna put a big sticker on there. Do not drink, especially if you got kids around because it looks like a milk jug. But that's all you gotta do. Now the two relics I'm gonna do today, one is this incredible Buck Rogers 1930 rocket ship. I dug this up over the winter and I wanna paint it. I wanna, I wanna clean all the rust off. I wanna repaint it, bring it back to life again. And the other thing I wanna do is this old license plate. This is from 1951. You can see it still has the original color even the background color. I'm gonna clean both of these things up. We'll show you some before and afters, and we'll hopefully you guys see if you like it or not. I'm gonna get my mixed concentrate. I'm just gonna pour it right in the bowl. And this one's gonna go my license plate. Just let it soak. Same with this one, I'm gonna put it in. Just enough to cover my item up, maybe a little extra. There it is, my rocket ship and just let it soak. It says that depending on how big it is and how much rust, it's gonna take some time, so I'm gonna keep an eye on it, but I'm gonna let these sit. We're gonna check on it probably in about 10 hours or so. These are pretty big items, so stay tuned. Okay, they've been here for 24 hours. It got cold last night, so I brought them in the house. It says in the directions to leave it between 65 and 75 degrees. So I just brought them back out. We're gonna take a look and we'll do the license plate first. Here we go. All right, not bad, not bad. It did take off some of the white color that was on the numbers and letters, but that's only because there was rust under the paint. And when the rust comes off, you know, the paint pops off. I could see a lot of the black and a lot of the rust is much lower. So uh, I think pretty good. My electrolysis might not have done any better. And keep in mind, I dug this out of the ground. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna wind up sanding it and repainting it anyway. So uh, not bad, not bad. I'm more excited about my rocket ship. Let's take a look. Now, let me tell you, when I brought it back outside, the water shook and I saw, I got a glimpse of what it looked like. So this is gonna be cool. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, look at that. Look at the colors on there. Look at the orange on this fin and the red. Um, oh, look at that green under there. This was totally just dirt colored. Oh, that is unbelievable. It really brings it back to life. In the bottom, there would have been wheels down here and the kid would have played with it, took off like that. Oh, I love it. Now, this water, you can reuse it for a year. You just gotta strain the rust out because all the rust that falls off settles to the bottom. You strain it with some cheesecloth you put it back into a, one of your gallon buckets like this one, and I can reuse it over and over and over for a year. I love the results. If you want to get it, where's my bottle? There it is, Metal Rescue. It's by the Workshop Hero. I'll put a link down below. They were also nice, nice enough to send me this dry coat. It'll keep the rust from coming back. You just spray it on there once this dries. But look at the results. Oh man, I love it. So there it is, guys. I don't want this to sound like an infomercial because I'm not trying to sell it. They're not paying me. I just clean a lot of things up and this really worked. 
So if you like finding things like I do and bringing them back to life with original color, I've been doing all sorts of things. I did this cool truck, all the red came out. The electrolysis is great, but it eats away the paint. It stripped things down the bare metal. That's what it does. But this product saved that original paint and I wanna see it. So uh, you guys made a good thing. I really appreciate it. Metal Rescue, link down below. Give it a shot if you like saving things like this. So happy hunting everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Later.